Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to be getting into the reading today. We're going to take a brief look at what messages you need to hear going into May 2022. So of course, if you want to see future readings from me, you guys already know, thumbs up the video, subscribe so you never miss a beat. Any information you need to get a personal reading will be listed in the description box. And we're going to flip the camera as always and get into the cards and the juiciness of what the messages are, okay? So enjoy. Oh, follow me on Instagram as well, guys, at Mystical Crystal Tarot. Literally, my uh, YouTube name is my Instagram name. And I have a whole bunch of pick a cards that are going to be uploaded on there. I actually posted like a pick a card already and astrological updates, all that jazz. So definitely follow me. And let's go ahead and get into the reading. Enjoy. Cancers, let's go ahead and jump into the reading. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What are the harsh truths they need to hear moving into May? We have the Wheel of Fortune, Six of Wands, Five of Swords, and also the Knight of Swords. Okay, so first harsh truth, and let me see if I can... There we go. All right, so first harsh truth that you may be needing to hear... So Spirit has been hearing your complaints. Spirit has been hearing that you've been wanting some sort of change, some evolution around areas in your life that have felt kind of stagnant. And with them kind of stepping in now and helping and, and basically trying to shift the energy, some of you could be resisting of the change that's happening around you. And the harsh truth is the only way that you're going to experience growth in certain areas in your life is to allow it to be in a space of allowing okay anytime that we kind of just attach ourselves to things in a way where we feel like if we don't have this particular person in our lives or if this situation doesn't work out like a b c and d that's going to be the end of the world we don't allow ourselves to one experience but two we don't allow the universe to kind of step in and bring us better especially considering that we don't always know what's best for ourselves or we don't have all the details to know what's best for ourselves but the universe does so the main thing i'm trying to say with this make sure that you guys are not standing in your own way from the new beginnings that you want by just holding on to things that you don't really want, but out of curiosity, out of fear, out of complacency. Now, another harsh truth that I'm hearing, the only way that you guys are going to be successful in certain endeavors that you're trying to pursue is by taking action and being authentically you in doing so with the Six of Swords as, or Six of Wands, excuse me. This person has one rod in their hand so to me, this feels like the Ace of Wands energy. And with the Ace of Wands, this is all about you needing to take action, you needing to be creative, you needing to express your, your passion and your, your drive in order for you to tap into the type of success that you're looking to have. And there's a need for you guys to block out distractions in doing so. Some of you guys are distracted by all the different things on social media distracted by by someone in particular romantically whatever this is make sure you're not being distracted from your personal goals another harsh truth that i'm seeing some of you guys like you allow your your mind or your thoughts let's say that your thoughts to control the narrative and you may not even have all the full facts sometimes. So be careful of jumping to conclusions. <laughs> be careful of jumping to conclusions or like allowing your thoughts to manipulate you to do things that in the long term, when you look back, you're going to be like, why did I do that? Let's keep going. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements message they need to hear so we have ask for what you want and the back of this card says find the courage to ask for what you want from others 
no, excuse me. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everybody has the right to ask you for what they want and you have the right to say yes or no. Beyond what this card is saying, I think that you guys need to be clear with the universe in regards to what you do want because you could say one thing out loud that's completely different than what you truly want like deep down in your heart and in your mind and in your soul it could differently it could be very different and spirit doesn't really work well with mixed signals so i think that it's it's important for you guys to get clear on what you want so the universe can actually deliver that and you don't have to be in the space of wondering why the universe hasn't came through yet. It's because there's this confusion around what exactly it is you do want. Now, where's that other deck? Oh, here it is. Cancers. Yeah, some of you guys say one thing and do another. And that's why you could be experiencing contradictory results. So an example of this is, oh, I don't want my ex. But then when your ex reaches out, then you entertain it. Or saying, oh, I want to make more money. But then delaying the, the action of actually taking action on that. I also have equanimity. I hope I said that correctly. And sparkling synchronicity. Hmm. Okay, so Spirit is saying, make sure you're not being overwhelmed with the fact that, let's say a career goal that you may have may take you a long time to reach or be intimidated by the fact that, for example, some of you guys are newly single and you want to experience new love, but it could be a situation where you're dreading it because of the highs and lows that you know you may, ex may experience in that situation. So make sure you're not going into a love situation, a financial situation with like this, this energy of like overanalyzing all the negatives and the things that you think will be positives. It's like be along for the journey and understand that life itself is just an experience. Nothing to take personally. I also think that your spirit guides have been communicating with you guys via synchronicities in, in music and numbers and other ways. So make sure you guys are in tune and paying attention to that. Now, I also have amplifying abundance. Abundance is my birthright and I receive it now. So this is understanding that a poverty mindset doesn't help at all so reconstructing the way that you view your relationship with finances is essential when you think about money do you think about money in an anxious way whenever you think about money do you you know start to feel uncomfortable do you get happy the, according to how you feel when you think about your financial situation it shows your relationship to money So yeah, and not only is abundance a birthright, but it's something that society has tried to teach us that we have to work extremely hard for when from the beginning of time, earth provided for us naturally. We didn't need physical currency, but understand even with us having physical currency now that abundance is a right. You deserve to be, you You are meant to be, not deserve, you're meant to be able to provide for yourself so that you can live the best life that you can. So reshaping your, your, your belief system about money is important, especially if you've had trauma associated with finances since a child or, you know, growing up without money. You guys do need to shake that, that belief system, but... We have euphoria and we have passion in reverse. So point blank period, the message I'm getting from this, you need to stay away from the temporary satisfaction. 
okay? Temporary satisfaction, although it may, you know, give you what you're looking for in the moment, in the long term, it offers nothing, especially when it comes to a relationship with somebody where someone just sexually is intrigued. Other than that, nothing else is being offered. But I'm going to leave the video right here. I hope that you did enjoy this and you took something from it. If you did, definitely thumbs it up and subscribe so you never miss a beat. And I will see you in the next one.